Welcome back to Superstar Glam. Today's video is definitely a different video that I've never done, done here on my channel. It's just a quick story time about my hair. And that's pretty much what I'm going to share in this video. So if you are interested to know what's going on with this hair, then just keep watching. So let's start from the beginning of my YouTube channel. I started off with red hair and I loved my red hair, but I did have it for, um, I would say maybe a year or maybe a little bit over a year and it was, um, height maintenance. Um, I had my hair the longest I pretty much ever had it it was up to my waist um but it was kind of like it's old hair long hair is old hair that's pretty much all it is so a lot of the hair was breaking off and so it was really really thin so it wasn't like my full hair it was thin so I started going shorter and shorter so I was cutting it and then um I had a crazy idea to cut it off super short like pixie cut which is one of the videos that I do have on my channel about my my haircut and I pretty much left it alone since I had pretty much cut off all the damaged hair that I had I was starting off fresh um so I don't know I always say that I'm not going to do anything to my hair and I'm just going to let it be and be healthy. Um, but I get bored and I want to change it up and I want to do something different. So I started experimenting with colors and, you know, I've done that in the past, but not as bold as I did. And for the past a few months I had been really debating what it was I was gonna do with my hair that's why I had like a really long regrowth and then my turquoise hair I was giving myself time to think about like what was I really what was the next step what was I gonna do the problem I faced and I didn't realize this was that um so I was washing my hair a little bit more frequently I was using um just like regular shampoos um to purposely fade out the color which usually happens i had never really had um turquoise hair before so i was like oh i'm just gonna let it wash off naturally and and then work from there once it once most of the colors off we i could work from there and decide then what the next color is gonna be Little did I know that the turquoise um, wasn't coming off. <laughs> no matter how often I was washing my hair, no matter what I was doing to my hair, I even went, I used uh, dish soap, which is really, um, like, it's almost like a detergent and it's it, it just, it's not good for your hair, but I figured... It could probably strip off the hair color because that's what I wanted. Yeah, no. It wasn't working. And then it wasn't even working with other colors that I was trying to apply over it. It was just that green just... It basically would stain my hair and it wasn't coming off. That's why I dyed my hair dark. But in the process, I made a mistake and... Basically, I dyed my entire hair without realizing that my roots were virgin, like it had no color. So the roots were one color and then the rest of my hair was a different color. On camera though, you couldn't tell. In person, it was two-toned. But even with the dark color applied, it was still washing off and that green was still coming out. So the whole idea was that I needed to get rid of the green. I needed to neutralize the green in order for me to start anew. So I had no choice. I had to apply red. Red and green don't mix and 
it was basically it was that was my decision like you know the only way to get rid of the green was to neutralize it with red so the process began and I did um, what is called a bleach bath so it's not as strong as say going in with just straight out bleach it's a combination of different ingredients with bleach so I went in with my first attempt with the bleach bath and all it did was make the green kind of more vibrant so the second time I went in with the bleach bath I went with a little bit of red tone mixed it into the mixture and it kind of worked it like neutralized most of the hair but I still had like a few little strands of like mint and green like you can tell it was still like mint green at that point it was good enough to where most of it was gone that I was like I'm just going to go in and do my entire hair red and doing that I'm going to get rid of every green that I had in my hair and finally get it to what I have now and that's what I did I went in with my mixture of red hair dye and I, I applied that to my entire hair and this is what I got so I'm I'm back where I started <laughs> with red hair and I don't know we'll see how long I'll keep of this because at this point it's easy for me to transition to anything else this color is high maintenance so I do have to keep up with it every two weeks so that's the only reason why I got rid of it a long time ago but like I said now I'm back to where I started and I love it I mean if it wasn't for the high maintenance I would probably keep it this color but um yeah we'll see how long I have this hair color and I I mean and I guess I hadn't really been discussing the transitions that led me to this beforehand because again I was unsure what I was doing I was just playing it by ear and it got to the point where all this happened within like after I went dark and I applied the dark like brown on my hair um it only took like a week later for that that hair to for my hair to start um fading going back into the green so um getting this done it it was within like a three day period and um yeah because I had to be out and about I couldn't be walking around with green hair or orange hair because that was my two outcomes so yeah I had like about three days to get all this done and fix it and finally um have it somewhat one color but yeah that was that's pretty much it that's my little story about my hair journey so i hope you liked this little mini story time please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already don't forget to also follow me on my other social media which i will have a link down below in the description box and i will see you next time bye